We're here. Gameplay is out. And let's see, because we can't see anything from Mr. HDB himself. Does Joe, in fact, know? Ooh, Ronaldo jersey. Should be Messi, who's clearly better, but... Finally come. I can show you NBA 2K23 gameplay. Finally have that opportunity Price picks no no gambling sponsors no gambling sponsors no gambling sponsors here filter you're gonna see like once the game starts and you start running around it's so like blurry we're so used to like hd footage now but it's authentic to the time period so it's really really cool you know why did my chrome freeze <laughs> my chrome froze My Chrome froze. Did my did my whole computer freeze? Did my whole computer freeze? Am I live? Am I live? My Google Chrome stopped responding. Am I alive right now? The time has finally come. I'm alive. I can show you okay. NBA 2K23 gameplay. Whole... Finally, make sure y'all drop a like on the video. Basketball, you're gonna notice. My whole Google Chrome stopped responding. Like the graininess of the of the TV broadcast, the graphics of the broadcast, everything looks really, really good. Now you're gonna notice it's so authentic that it almost hurts your eyes. Like I started playing this for like a minute or two, and I was like, you know yeah. what? I gotta turn off the era filter. I think that's what it's called, era filter. You're oh, you can turn it off. That's actually huge. But um, yeah, that's gonna be a um, that's gonna be like a really important thing is to be the ability to turn this on and off. So it means that people actually just want to play the mode in like 2K22 settings, they can. But also anyone who wants to um, play the mode with like a... Um, anyone who wants to play the mode, for example, in like old settings can as well. Like once the game starts and you start running around, it's so like blurry. We're so used to like HD footage now, but it's authentic to the time period. So it's really, really cool. You know what I mean? But check it out. I mean, the courts, even the, I'm going to go as far as to say, even the style of play, like with no three point line, like it's very what? congested. Everybody's like, you know, kind of close to the basket. But you see right here, I'm going to go and you can turn yeah. it off and it makes it, you know, completely. Oh, that makes it so much better. That makes it so much better. HD and makes it, you know, not give you a headache. But like I said, it's really cool. The next game is for Team USA. Um, you know, young Michael Jordan playing for Team USA. You're playing against the 80s All-Stars, so like it's so blurry. You know, I like I it and I also like don't like it. Game that happened. I could be wrong, and maybe, you know, maybe people in chat are saying they took it from WWE no effort. It's like, yeah, it's the same dev team. Why would they build why would they build a new filter when they already have the filter? Like, that's just dumb. Like, why would they like, there are certain times where Control-C, Control-V makes perfect sense, and this is one of them. Some Somebody, in, you know, they're going to kill me in the comments. Like, oh, you don't know the history of basketball. My fault. I forgot about one game, maybe. But the next one is the playoff game against... Yeah, scored 63 in this. Scored, I think 63 points. He was going crazy. I think Larry Bird said it was... You know, he described it like he was... Uh, I think he said he's Jesus described it. God, uh, guy's disguised Michael as Michael Jordan or something along those lines. Like, it was, you know, it was just a crazy game. He was a one-man wrecking crew. And they ended up getting swept in this series, I think. But it was still a standout thing for Michael Jordan. Like, he was just un stoppable you know as you can see it looks really good it's just it, it's authentic and that's that's what i appreciate about this i'm not really one that's big for like single player game modes playing against the computer but it is really authentic and i will say that like this is not really a mode that appeals to me but it appeals to a lot of people like there's a reason why the 2k11 challenges were so like beloved is that they genuinely do appeal to a lot of people while it may not appeal to me it may not appeal to a lot of you guys watching this video it does appeal to people and like there are a lot of people that just play single player and it is that is a this is a huge huge positive again i couldn't care less about the mode but it's a huge positive in terms of like the history of uh basketball the history of michael jordan so it, it's cool no doubt about it it is really cool the way they did it you know you could see uh just everything about it the, the court the broadcast the three the boosts is weird boost, everything that i said you know even even the play style like i said it's pretty authentic to the time period but Let's get into what everybody is here for, or I think maybe some people wanted to see the Jordan challenges and whatnot. Yeah. But what I think they're here for, the gameplay. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Now take a couple things into consideration before we get into it. First of all, 
I, the game's going to play different when you have 99s or all badges. You, my team, guys, yeah, you get a free agent, Jordan. Well, I'm playing against the computer, okay? I'm playing against the computer. It's not on park difficulty. There's no setting in here to put it on park difficulty. Mike Wang said park. I think he said park is going to be closest be to the Hall of Fame this year. So it's going to be a little more challenging, which is good, but there was no exact park. Let's wait till day one when no one can shoot and everyone complains. Difficulty setting here. Some things could be different when y'all go to the park or pro-am or rec or wherever y'all end up playing. Also, I was not invited to this event to give feedback and change things about the games. And I'll say, oh, Joe was telling them to put this shoulder in there or put this dunk in there or this shot animation. I didn't tell them anything. I just went and played the game and I'm giving y'all my feedback. They went to an event, like it was an event. That's one of the things where it's like, people are like, oh, they go to the event and they're like, not, not like the game's still bad. It's like, this game could be as garbage as possible. The event was seven, six days before launch. Like. Nothing's gonna change. Talk about what I saw, okay? So let's get into the Can't first wait to see people complain about shooting too hard, being too hard. Stamina and dribbling, and how does this whole three, uh, what did they call it? Dribbling's gonna be dead because any sort of like side to side rhythm dribble counts as a boost, counts as a burst. So that's kind of, it's gonna be tough to get create. You're gonna be, it's gonna be very tough for play, play shots. I don't think are gonna dominate as much anymore. Adrenaline meters, I think they were calling it. You have your stamina meter and then three adrenaline meters. So everyone was wondering like what actually takes away from your adrenaline meters. Let's look at this footage, okay? So you're gonna notice coming up the court, you have three bars under your stamina bar. Those are your- Hopefully park players won't room 5v5. Oh, they will, they do whatever you. Adrenaline meters. They do whatever you. Basically what I noticed, man, any explosive movement- Oh, so you can do it behind the back, but you can't put the ball through your legs. So pro three. So he's got the dame behind the back. This footage, okay? So you're gonna notice coming up the court, you have three- Look, the behind the back doesn't count as a, as a boost. Ball. Those are your adrenaline meters. Basically what I- Look, that doesn't count. Or it takes no stamina. So the Scotty behind the back's gonna be a thing again this year. Scotty behind the back's gonna be huge. I noticed, man, any explosive... But, like, you, if you just... If you just size up through your legs, it counts as a burst. Explosive movement you do... Like, so if you make a dribble move, a miss, any sort of dribble move, it takes two to three bursts. So you got one shot. You got one shot at making a dribble move. MJ usually has, Ky has Kyrie behind the back. That's... MJ always had Pro 3. Then he had Dame. Doesn't he? Yeah, MJ always has Dame behind the back. You're getting a Kobe. MJ always has Dame behind, or always has, he had Pro 3, and then it became Dame at the start of last year, and then when they changed Dame, that was exactly what he did just there. Do is going to take an adrenaline meter. So you see every explosive behind the back that I oh, do. Oh, once they have no adrenaline meters, they trip over their own feet. It's not Pro 3, no, but Dame got changed. Dame used to, he used to have Pro 3, and then Pro 3 became Dame, and then he kept Dame. Or he, and then Dame became whatever that behind the back was, and whatever that behind the back was, they patched Dame to is what he did just there. Any explosive movement you do is going to take So once they're at a boost, so they trip over their own feet. Explosive. So anything behind the back doesn't count as a as a one. So it's going to be behind the back. Behind the back that I do, I lose it. And look at how I move once I lose those he adrenaline trips over his own feet. Like. You are slow as a snail. Now I'm blinking and I have no adrenaline meter. You're useless. You cannot beat a defender with that, all right? But look it. Off of momentum, you lose it. Off of misdirection, you lose it. So any explosive dribble. So basically move, anything like a momentum, I lose it. So it's we all thought that it was kind of burst animations that were gonna be the adrenaline. So any sort of size up loses one boost. Which is gonna like dribbling's dead. Dribbling is dead dead. There's <laughs> an adrenaline bar. Look at cross dribbling back, is I don't dead, lose dead. it. But I do the little misdirection, I lose it. Or CA, or CA, where are you at? Your we need your plays. Or CA, we need all your plays. It's the only way we're gonna score. The stamina bar. Anytime He's gonna get I patched. I did how long, how lads, chat? How long do we give it till it gets patched? How long do we give it till it gets patched? I like it. I actually do like it. The problem is, is that this is a this is something that's brought into the game that would make five v five really good, but park players are going to hate it. And as we all know, as we all know, they patch this game to appease park players. They make, they build the game for 5v5 players. And it happens every year. The game launches, other than 21 current gen, the game launches really good for 5v5, 
for most 5v5 players, they patch the game for quote-unquote sim... They, they make the game initially for quote-unquote sim nation because that's what the devs want. Um, basically, the devs want the game to be more plays-based or like hash, quote, quote-unquote sim nation. And that's how they build their game. And then people end up hating that and they patch the game for the dribble heads. Did I speed boost it out of anything? I would lose an adrenaline bar. So, you, you know, dribbling this year... I don't know, man. Dead. Maybe if you have Gatorade and stuff, it's going to be different. But it looks like you're, you know, if you run left, right, left, right, left, you're not right, you're going to like out of adrenaline. You're going to be moving like a I snail. really like so it, by the way. It's going to be different. Like, I'm blinking now, and there's nothing. I end up getting smashed into the, <laughs> into the ground. I really, I'm not even complaining. I really like this new change. I, we just know, there's a, we know for an, from experience that this game gets patched because Park players are the loudest on Twitter. And Park players... Every patch ruins the game more v war. Like 2K21 next gen and 2K22 next gen have been the two best my team gameplay experiences at launch. Um, the issue is is that they're gonna patch it. To be fair, like left right didn't even freaking matter in my team because you could just send a send a double and getting a foul. But basically, y'all see what I'm saying, right? And this is one thing I noticed too. Check this out. I like I'm it. I think it's cool. the court here, off the catch, right? I catch it with Jordan. And you're going to see, just from running forward, I lose an adrenaline. Oh, from like, running? <laughs> is that a glitch? Is that Oh, no. There? I don't know. If you're telling me I catch the ball and I start running up the court and that's already one adrenaline meter. Oh, no. A sprint. A quick first step is going to be an adrenaline boost. It looks like quick first step is an adrenaline meter. <laughs> We're gonna have some adjustments to make because people are gonna be boxed up. They're not gonna be able to create anything. Yeah, let me know what y'all think. It's a new game. Is it too much? Like, we I'm not to gonna say it it's too, horrible. Obviously. Like, maybe Gatorade will make a difference. I don't care. This is maybe it won't. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is I love, I love when like it becomes quote unquote sim nation type gameplay. So like, I'm super super happy about these changes. Everyone's saying this looks terrible. Like, I can fully see if you're like a for lack of a better word, if you are a quote-unquote cheeser, this is going to be horrible. But I actually really like it. It's not going to be for everybody. It's going to be so different, but I really, I like the change. I like I the change. Know. I'm sorry, Power Black Players. Way. I like so it. Let's move on to the I next like category it. I'm talking about. We're going to talk about body animation. Strength we're running pick and, and rolls back, all day. Right? We're so running plays. Or CA, we're running plays. Right away. Now, again, it could be different in the park. It could be different because I was playing against AIs. You know, playing against a computer, it's always different. But just look at some of these animations I was getting when I was driving to the hoop, okay? Check this out. Obviously, it is Michael Jordan. Take that into consideration. He's one of the best drivers of the ball we've ever seen. But look at this animation. I just manhandle this dude. Throw the shoulder into him. Move him out of the way. <laughs> if that's going to be a thing, people are going to be in trouble if they make these little guards. Because look at this. I just move him. Yeah. Literally move him. With yeah, exactly. Like, each little guy should have a chance. Like, if, you have, if you're able to throw your body into play, that's a cool animation. Little guys shouldn't shouldn't be useless because they can't dunk. Dude, throw the shoulder into him. Move him out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> if you've got, if you've got like, high strength, without question, that's a, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing <laughs> in the game. That's going to be a thing. People are going to be in trouble if they make these little guards because look at this. I just move him, literally move him with my strength. Uh, and, and there was a lot of these nice animations, like realistic. Look at him. I throw my shoulder into the chest of the shot block. It's re it's very realistic. It looks really realistic. It looks really cool. I like it. As a, you're an old head, you like to drive. Like, I mean, I guess, bro. I mean, I just like basketball. Yeah, I like and, this. And to me, this is part of basketball. I like and this. And on top of it, it might be for the first time. I know strength has mattered, but... Let's be honest. No, it doesn't. No, it was a choice. Strength has never mattered in the game. It has never mattered. Choice between speed and strength. Speed always came out on top, except maybe like with a post score or something. If you're telling me now you can make bigger ball handlers with strength, and if a smaller guard is on you, he's not just going to be able to stay between you and the hoop because he's faster. You're telling me I'm going to be able to move him out of the way. Giannis, LeBron, people like that. Move the smaller guy out of the way and finish at the rim. I think that's good for the... I think it's good for balance. I think it's realistic. I think it makes smaller players 
have to make an adjustment, not just say, oh, I'm faster, I beat you to the spot. I'm I like I'm it. Going. You might be faster. I like it. <laughs> I actually like the changes. But I'm stronger, so there's I like it. Take. There's I really like it. negatives, you know? Just like you could run around me because if I don't get the body up, my strength doesn't matter. Your speed, you get around me, the same thing. Just because your speed beat me to the spot, I'm stronger than you. I move you out of the way. It is a video game, though, and then they're like, is it skill gap? Because you could just run through somebody. It doesn't take really much skill. You just hold RT, run through it's a debate for another day. I'm just saying I noticed there's definitely new body up animations. Part of that has to do with the bully badge. For the first time we have a, a, a badge that is strictly correlated to strength. Bully badge is strictly correlated to strength. So if you're, if you have no strength, even if you're big with no strength, you're not, you can't get bully badge. So just like the description Mike Wang put out of, of the badges for us that we, that we read, I think it was in um, a course I report a while back. I like this. Bully bad. I think it, it could, it could, it could be something different. All right. But let's move on. Let's talk about shooting. Let's talk about the delayed green pop-ups that people want to see. And let's talk about shot contests a little bit. Now, as y'all watch these clips, right? We have to take into consideration the fact what? that this is playing against the computer, right? Obviously, a person could push the right stick up. They could press Y. They could do different things. Oh, to get shot contests. so but this is over a dude with lock take. I mean, that's not that bad. That's a, that's a late contest. Obviously, a person... Like, that's open. I don't care what anyone says. Like, you might say, oh, contest broken. That's open! And that is open. Uh, maybe a lightly. Maybe a lightly. Maybe a lightly. Push the right stick up. They could press Y. They could do different things. Like maybe a lightly. Contest. But this is over a dude with lock take. And I green it right in his face, basically. I mean, he's there, but it's kind of a... I guess a late hand up. Mike Mike also talked about shot contests a little bit. And he was talking about... You know, they revamped it. I think he... Was it in a course side report or a tweet? I don't know, but... Yeah, you, you also can't... You can't get contests by just being... There's no more ghost contest. Like, that's wide open. Like, I know the camera angle makes it look weird. But, like, if you flip this on its side, if you play this on the broadcast camera, you don't understand how wide open this is. Like, he is a good meter away from him, like, this way and a meter this way. He's nowhere, the defender is nowhere near him. It's probably on pro difficulty as well, but this defender is nowhere near this guy. Trying to use this as an example of shot contest. If this is, a, this is, would only have been a contesting ghost contest here. How about, you know, really registering He's nowhere where near him. and how it affects the shot if it's a late contest. But basically, y'all see the delayed greens here, right? So the green doesn't pop up until the ball wow. is already in the hoop. I mean, you see even the AI players out here shooting off dribble shots with Larry Bird. Yeah, but the AI. But um, you see the green, right? The AI have been green heavies for years. <laughs> it doesn't pop up until ball is literally already in the basket. Delay greens is, is, is weird. We're gonna get used to thing, it. Honestly, it, We're it makes used it to more it. suspenseful. Like there was times I was shooting here and I was even talking to Fana about it. You know, Fana's in the 2K league, a very competitive player, comp stage player, all that. I was talking to him. I was like, what do you think about the greens? He was like, I like it. It's a lot more suspenseful. And I was like, yeah, it's like, I'm shooting. I'm like, I think I'm gonna air ball. And then, and then it's, you know, it goes right in and, and the green pops up late and it's, it, it's cool. It makes it so like you're really on edge waiting to see what happens on the shot as opposed to before. As soon as it comes off your fingertips, you already know if you made it or, or you whited it, you know? So there's probably going to be green animations though at the same time. I think it's a cool little change. It's a small detail, but overall, I think it'll add a little bit more excitement into every Delay you know, greens won't matter. career, won't matter. pro am, rec, whatever you're playing. I think it'll add a little bit more excitement and suspense. All right. Now, the next thing, the dunk meter. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I was rushing a little bit at this point, so I didn't even test the dunk meter, but I got footage from Laker fan and I got his feedback on the dunk meter, okay? So I was in a rush because I wanted to get to the builder for you guys. I was just trying to get the gameplay footage as quickly as possible. So I didn't even think like, hey, test the dunk meter, see what's up. So this is from Laker fan, shout out to him. Let's check out this footage, all right? So we have a couple clips here. First thing you're gonna notice is the dunk meter is not that little circle it's thing. It's like a shot. I like it. I like this one more. It, is, it actually looks like a shot meter, which that's like way said, better. Makes it that's so much better. It's so hard to see the dunk meter if you're on TV the old one. This is so much better. A lot easier to time. So that is a cool thing, you know. Also, I like the fact how it looks. <clears throat> also, I like wait a minute. How is he? 
doing like a back behind the back behind the back so basically if you go through the legs it's an adrenaline but behind the back it isn't that's the fact how it looks because really weird it doesn't i feel like the other meter was like in the way of the dunk you didn't even really get to see the animation now i feel like this meter it's off to the side it's not taking away from the actual contact dunk animation also what like fan said is I don't know if y'all saw what Mike Wang was talking about with like the dunk stick combos. Like you could flick up and then hold down or you could flick down and then hold down. He said that was the only time the dunk meter popped up for him. Every other time, like it would just give him a normal dunk or whatever the case may be. But he had to basically, hold on, let me grab my So the same as last year, basically. Like Mike Wang was talking about with the right stick, right? Like to, to, to do some of these dunks, you do combos. So like you flick up and then hold down. It's not like you just run and hold down. Now you flick up, hold down, or you could flick down, hold down. And that... Oh, so there's like combos for different dunks. That's that is kind of cool. That was something that, that is kind of cool. Uh, Laker fan had mentioned to me and saying like you had to do that to get the dunk meter to pop up. All okay. right. Now the last thing I know a lot of people probably have other gameplay questions. When I tell you I was not focused on gameplay, I was focused on the builder. But I think some of this info is cool, and especially like the dribbling and the stamina. That was a big question yeah. I was getting. But also people were asking about slashers. Are slashers are going to be good? Because it seemed like a lot of the news we were getting was catering and favoring slashers. So let me just show you all some of these clips I was getting. Yeah, like I'm, all I'm gonna say is that we've had too many years of play shots. Give me, give me more slashers, I don't care. Again, it's with Michael Jordan against the computer. So I'm just saying like, whatever about Park and all people that want to spam left rights and their play shots. Like, I'm sorry, look, look at what he does in this possession. Slashers, so let me just show you all some of these clips I was getting. Again, like you're you're telling me that this isn't enough dribbling for a normal person. With Michael Jordan against. I, the look at that! Come away. on, literally, burst one way, burst another way, burst the third way. Like the, uh, this is this is gonna be fine. He just can't spam. He just can't spam. All I'm gonna say is in my team though, double, uh, double um, ball handler is gonna be a thing, and same with pro am double ball handler is gonna be a thing. I like this. A grain of salt. But some of these layups, man, and a lot of people were talking about it was like saying like layups go in like crazy. Like some of these layups. Layups go in like crazy. Listen to what's happening. People are forgetting it's basketball. You should not. Like a layup is the highest presented shot in the damn sport. Animations. And some of these. Give us layup on a. I would rather all. I would rather layups go in way too much than zero layups go in like in 2K22. That's I'm hitting like with no stamina, low stamina. I'm going like against. It's like Robert Parrish, like he's a big okay. Player. That is that is kind of ridiculous. That one there, center of good that, that one is ridiculous. That animation, and I don't know, man. but like, this could be on for all we know, this could be on rookie difficulty. Some of these layups, I feel like, shouldn't be going in, but they were like that. Shit, <laughs> that's oh my god, don't don't say that that shouldn't go in, don't say that that shouldn't go in. That is literally it. 2K have spent five years nerfing the mid range game, making it so that you if you shoot a post fade away with Dirk Nowitzki, it's a 75% contest no matter what. That is a perfectly good animation. Him getting into one side of the key, spinning in and shooting a pull-up fadeaway jumper in someone's face that's open. That should go in. That should go in. I don't know, man. Some of these layups I feel like shouldn't be going in, but they were. Like You're acting like that's not, like that is like the MJ shot. Like that is a typical MJ shot. That should go in. Rim protector. And I don't know, man. Some of these layups I feel like shouldn't be going in, but they were. Like, that shit. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Like, that's literally a... That's bringing back the, the game in or around this area here. Like, all I'm going to say in terms of D 2K is the only things that have ever mattered are how well a player can dunk or paint mash and how well a player shoots the three ball. If 2K can bring back a way to score from this area where my cursor is right here, that is huge. That is huge if 2K can bring back a way to score from this area. And it looks like they've done it. Over three people. What do you mean? This isn't over three people. It's over one. It's over Kevin McHale. Where is the three know, people? If you think it's over three people, you never yeah, play basketball. Like, should it be Look, he spun through in, two of them. But they, they were. Explain to me what... Explain to me what Danny Ainge is doing playing defense. He's doing nothing. He's behind him. A real basketball player is not going to see that. Uh, Dennis Johnson is standing under the basket. Um, at least four and a half feet away. The only player he's shooting it over is Kevin McHale, and he's shooting a fadeaway jump shot, which is Michael Jordan's bread and butter. Were like that shit. I that should that go that in. Should not go in in my. I I know it's Michael Jordan. I, I mean, spin. Like they. That's why are these clips being pointed out as layups going in too much? Like players miss. 
players missing these layups in other years was a problem. This is good. This is good. Like, look at this layup. Jordan gets contact. It's Michael freaking Jordan, but it's still an open layup. Jordan, I mean... This is an open layup. Like, look. Look at where the hand is. The hand is on Michael Jordan's elbow. There's no contest made on the ball. This is an and one that Michael Jordan will score 98% of the time in real life. This is fine. Spin. Not in a video game, man. It's meant to be basketball simulation. The, the issue with what 2K have done is they've made something that has been that has not worked as either a video game or basketball simulation. If 2K want to say, screw making this a video game, let's make a basketball simulation, I'm cool with it. What I don't like is going somewhere in between both of them and meaning that it's not a good basketball simulation or not a good video game like they've done in previous years. If they want to go full one direction um, rim, people say run to the rim. Literally, all you have to do, I can guarantee you there's probably a situation where you press triangle and you can block the shot. Time your jumps then. Block your shot. Don't, don't expect Danny Ainge to stop Michael Jordan at the rim. Like... Jordan, I mean... Oh, sorry, that is Bill Walton. Spin, That's no Bill Walton. stamina, like, fading, layup, floater. I, I, take it with a grain of salt, man. It's basically my career with Michael Jordan against the computer. But I'm just showing you. Y'all asked to see what... Like, as long as they don't... Like, they are 1 million percent miss. Every trailer, he drops defense, yeah. What are slashers like? I mean, these are a couple slashing clips. So, listen. Adrenaline... Adrenaline bars, adrenaline meters, whatever you want to call them. I like this. It's going to be a big adjustment, in my opinion. We'll have to see with Gatorade. We'll have to see with different, like, players. I don't know what Jordan's, like, handles for days are on and stuff like that. What his badges are for playmaking at this point in his career. But we'll have to really see. I think it's going to be a big adjustment. All the people that complain about just people that speed boost left, speed boost right, speed boost left, speed boost right. If the adrenaline thing works the way it's supposed to, they're only going to be able to do that three times. And then they're going to be moving like a snail like you saw in those clips. So that's definitely a big adjustment. Um, like I said, I didn't spend a lot of... I had about six hours. I like this. I actually like this. I genuinely, genuinely like this.